my old fringy ass high school makeup <laughs> I'm not a beauty channel I just do what I want to do so if you notice I am outside of the bathroom because I got so tired of filming in my fucking bathroom it makes me look uncreative so here we are in my little brother's room but I'll be looking into this little mirror right here can you see yourself can you see yourself Anyway, without further ado, I'm just gonna shut the fuck up and we're just gonna get right into this video. So, we're gonna be going off of an old... <laughs> I was in probably, I'm ashamed, but most definitely like 11th grade. And this is after I cut all my hair off and I thought, oh my god, wait. What if I made my eyebrows thick as fuck so I can be like different? And they were, you know, already thick. And I decided to make them fucking huge as fuck. And nobody told me that shit looked fucking terrible. My friends were not my friends. I'm gonna pop up a picture. Bitch, what the fuck? What the fuck? I don't wanna talk about it. We're gonna make myself look like that. <laughs> I already have a little bit of foundation and concealer on, but let's just add some fucking more. <laughs> Don't be shy, put some more, <laughs> put some more. If you're here from TikTok, thanks so much. I love you so much for all your support. Thanks for 100,000 followers on TikTok and please continue to watch my videos. Okay, now that we look fucking caked and terrible, we are going to now put a whole bunch of fucking concealer under my eyeballs. I would get concealer that was way too fucking white for me. When I was in 11th grade, I thought, yes, I, I'm going crazy with the makeup. I can do all these cute eyeshadow looks. So we're gonna try to do one today and <laughs> it's gonna be really fucking bad. We're looking a little caked already. We love that. Next are the eyebrows and I must say I'm quite nervous for this. I'm going to literally be traumatized by the way I look. Now I'm gonna take my old crusty ass fucking brush. That I, all my makeup is really old and crusty. Like a lot of this shit I've actually had since I was in 11th grade. It is time for me to buy new makeup, honestly, but I'm not going to. This is bad, honestly, already. So I'm gonna make them thick as shit. Just go under them like this. And then I would go literally so above my fucking eyebrows like it was nasty literally like i'm not even fucking kidding i thought i could get away with it i'm like yeah no one's gonna know that my eyebrow is not even that fucking thick everyone fucking knew there's no way they did not i knew so therefore i know everyone else knew this is hideous this shape wasn't even this good though like this at least has like some cute kind of shape like mm, yeah, let's talk about my makeup journey. Like when I first was allowed to wear makeup, it was like the end of my seventh grade year, right? Back then it was like the trend to like put the white eyeshadow on top of your eyelid. I didn't have the right kind of white eyeshadow. Like it was, mine wasn't bright. So I would like pack a bunch of it on because mine wasn't like fucking pigmented. I kind of just looked like that for like all the way up until ninth grade. My eyebrows weren't that bad. Like they weren't that bad. And then 11th grade hit and I was like, I'm going to be different. And there was this girl at my school who was like a model and I thought she was so fucking cool. And like her eyebrows were really thick but they were naturally thick. I thought if I fucking like my eyebrows thick, I'm going to be a fucking model. Like that is so nasty and ugly. Like be your fucking self, bitch. So now that I look like a fucking troll. Now we're gonna conceal them. I also thought I knew how to contour. I would put more concealer and I would do like all of this. I can't believe I honestly went to school like this. I don't even think the shape of my eyebrows looked this good. I thought this was it. Like this is it. I am the shit. I'm a piece of garbage. I'm going to be a model like mm, mm. Mm. So now that we have fat ass, fucking big ass, thick ass, bitch ass eyebrows, we're gonna contour because I thought I knew how to do that. I would use like um brown eyeshadow. I thought I was slick and it looked bad. I didn't know how to contour then. I don't know how to contour now. I would draw like a straight line like that. Disgusting! But yeah, I would do this and then 
I would just take my finger and I would just, and then when it didn't blend clearly, I would just give up and look ugly. Honestly, there's nothing I can possibly do to make this better. After I looked orange and ugly and cakey and hideous, you know what I did to make things so much better for myself? I did eyeshadow and really terrible eyeliner because I thought, hey, if anything, I'm gonna just look like a bad bitch. Like my eyeshadow and my eyebrows, like who the fuck do I think I am? I'm that bitch. <laughs> I can't believe I went in public like this so many times. This is my old crusted as palette um, that I had. Um, I still have the same shit I told you I don't get new makeup. I like to use this color, this color, this color, this color, and that color, and that color, and that color. Like I would just use like anything thinking I was doing something. I then would take another pink color and put that in my corner. A little bit of gut in my mouth. It tastes like peach, actually, which is kind of crazy. It actually doesn't look that hideous. I would take this nectar color and the white peach color like that, like a whole bunch of times. And then I would like go in my inner corner like so much. This is what would fuck me up. This is what would fuck me up. Wish I had this in middle school. Um, I would have been that bitch. <laughs> After that, I would then make my eyeliner look really bad. What I would do was I would make my eyeliner go all the way out there. I would make it really, really, really fucking thick. If I can't have an ass, if my ass isn't gonna be thick and fat, my eyeliner will. When you look at this, you're like, it doesn't get any worse than that. What else could you possibly do to yourself to make it look worse than that? I would do a fucking cat eye. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Why the fuck I did shit like this? I don't know. While I'm doing this, let me just continue to talk about my 11th grade experience. Honestly, 11th grade was fucking ass for me and it was very, it was a very depressing time. Um, as you can see, because I was doing this, towards the end of my 11th grade year, it got a little better. I looked like a queen. No, I didn't. I did not look like a queen. My eyebrows were getting a little thinner, but they were still looking a little fucking thick. And apparently I was being called the girl with thick eyebrows. Like they'd be like, you know Trinity? I'd be like, which one? Like the one with the thick eyebrows? Yeah, that one. I did not know people were referring to me as that until someone told me. So I was like, oh, oh. So, you know, sometimes criticism helps because I started to thin my eyebrows a little bit better. So anyway, I did not wear lashes. Maybe lashes could have fixed this look for me. Cause you know, lashes sometimes cover up bad fucking eyeliner jobs, but honestly, there's probably nothing that could fix this. Okay guys, so for whatever reason, my phone fucking stopped fucking recording. But basically I just added more bronzer on my face and I made it like <laughs> blush basically. Cause that's what I used to do. I do actually have a beauty mark and I would like make it huge like that and then wait for it to dry. And then I would like dab it to make it look a little bit more natural. But yes, I made it this fucking big. But yeah, I would use highlight that looks really like brassy up against my skin. Like I don't know if you can see that, but that looks really bad. I would add a whole bunch of highlighter underneath my eyebrow like that. I would put it in between my eyebrows and go down my nose. Our mole is dry, so let's dab some of that off. <laughs> this reminds me so fucking much where I didn't know how to do my makeup at fucking all. And I just overdid everything. Thick ass eyebrows, thick ass eyeliner, thick ass fucking contour, thick ass highlight, thick ass mole. Like, well, let me just make myself look bald like it was. But yeah guys, so that's the end of this fucking video. This made me relive a really terrible time in my life, but hey. Thank you guys so, <laughs> so much for 5,000 subscribers. Um, we might be at 6K by the time you watch this, maybe not. Thank you guys, honestly, thank you. Thank you for all the comments. Thanks, thanks, thank you. Continue to make sure you comment down below and let me know how you like this video. 
let me know some suggestions on what you guys want to see from me and give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and it's going to be on my little face bubble at the end of this video you can also watch my previous video at the end of this video as well don't forget to click that gray notification bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified when i post and be the first to like the first comment because we love that and i always respond to you guys' comments as much as i can um usually like the first few people who comment i comment back um where someone says something really funny or if they say they're from tiktok because we hit a hundred thousand on tiktok and counting thank you guys so much for that that's it that's it for this video um I'm gonna go now and wipe this shit off my fucking face because I have to go to work soon. So, yeah, no, fuck that. Love you guys so much. Thank you and bye. 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 bye.